we finally got our cloud up and running, and you all should have accounts on it now. Um, let's see here if we do. <laughs> well, we can do like that. And on our course homepage, We have a new uh, link down here, Lab Cloud. And if you're not logged in, you won't see any information. But if you log in as a student, you will get your information. So this is uh, personal information about your account. You don't have to try this password, it won't work. <laughs> Uh, and this, I'm as a regular student, this is my student account. So here we have the URL for the web interface, which we have here. Uh, and you simply log in. So don't use your student password that you has, have here at LNU. You have to use this special password which uh, we have generated. Uh, let's see if I have... Mine. And we are in. And the first thing you see here is an overview of your uh, usage of the, the cloud. Uh, you also see uh, which limits you have. Uh, we have set up that you can use 15 instances and an instance is a it's a server uh, and how many virtual CPUs you can use the amount of, of RAM you have 25 gigabyte uh, of RAM and then we have something called floating IPs which I will essentially is a public IP so it can be addressed uh, outside of the uh, our network then we have security groups. I will come to that in a minute. We have volumes. That's hard disk, you can say. Uh, and the amount of storage. And this is in gigabyte. And uh, all, uh, all of you have uh, the, the same amount if you're a student here. Um, then we have two panes here out in the left. We have the identity and we have projects. You won't be here any uh, any time. Uh, you'll probably be in the project. And all these limits and uh, how much you can allocate is based on the, pro the project that you're in. Uh, and in here we have compute, network, and object store. 